So recently I released a short video of how to wiggle text in Premiere Pro with a free MoGit. If you haven't seen that, the link is over here at the top. This is just a follow on to that and bring you yet another great tool to streamline your text animation in Premiere Pro, Wiggle 2. So when you have the MoGit on your timeline, first turn off this stupid thumbnail, then you can see this text area where you can customize your content. Just type in your text as usual. Press the enter key to start new line. Below the box, you can choose your font and size. If you make the font smaller, you can have even more lines. And then here comes the fun part. You can choose whether to wiggle characters or words. I would say most of the time people would like to wiggle the characters. So let's just stick with that for the minute. You see this slider, wiggles per second. The bigger the number goes, the crazier it moves. Let me just ramp this up real high for you. If you set it to 500, it's an absolute earthquake. Usually I would say somewhere between two to 10. Even 10 is quite a lot, so let's bring it down to five. Position is the distance it moves away from its original point. If you set it at zero, it doesn't move at all. So if you just want the vertical moves, set the x-axis to zero. Or the other way around, set the y-axis to zero, you get these letters moving left and right. Then there's the rotation. If I set the position to zero and just have the rotation on, you'll see it turning around. I would say position rotation along with wiggles per second will give you most of the variations. So just focus on these three when designing the animation. After that is the time control. As someone who uses MoGuts every day, it really bugs me that you can't keyframe MoGuts, so I build in some kind of alternative to keyframes. Time in is the time it will start transitioning into the animation. Time in then is how long the transition is going to be. Same with time out and time out length. You can have the animation gradually coming to a stop instead of having it always wiggling. Now coming back to the top, you can choose to wiggle per word or even per line. So with different settings, I created all these wiggle animations with just one MoGuit. Finally, let me show you a trick to make this a stop motion text animation. Bring in posterized time from effects, then set the frame rate to four. That means it will play four frames per second. Then you get something like this. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. Please head over to my Gumbro to download Smoker if you haven't done so. And do check out my Gumbro page, most of them are on what you can pay price, so help yourself. I'd appreciate it though if you can hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more editing tutorials. It also helps me to bring out more assets in Premiere Pro and After Effects. That's it about this video, until next time, happy editing.